Welcome to our blissful breathing into being yoga flow. Today's practice is going to be focused on finding that true connection between your breath and movement, providing you the opportunity to not only increase your flexibility, but to also help you release stress and tension out of your body and out of your mind. So if you're ready to breathe, move, flow, and let go of all that no longer serves you, grab your mat and let's begin. Come on, keep it steady as the sun at the body say We aren't in our final frame Alright friends, let's get started today seated at the center of your mat. Go ahead and cross your feet in front of you, resting the hands on your knees. Let's just take this opportunity right now to close our eyes and just take a deep breath in and exhale out, allowing the shoulders to drop away from the ears. Taking this opportunity right now to come into yourself, feeling the present moment within you, around you, feeling yourself grounded and centered on your mat. Beautiful. Let's just take another deep breath in, this time reaching both of your arms up to the sky, giving your upper body a nice big stretch. And then as you exhale, one hand comes down, the other hand stays up as you take your side stretch. And as you're reaching with that top arm, make sure both of your sit bones are staying grounded on the mat. Your shoulders and hips are facing towards the screen. Take another deep breath in and then bending that top arm and behind your head. Now this time look down and think of touching that top elbow to the opposite knee. And then as you exhale, what you're going to do is simply open up the body, look up to the sky towards that elbow. So really going deep into that side body, inhale, come down, elbow to knee, feeling that gentle stretch through the back. Then exhale, let it go, going deeper into the side. Two more times. Let's bring it down. Round out through the upper back and exhale, open yourself up. Reach a little bit more each time. And once more, go ahead and round the spine, elbow to the opposite knee. And exhale, open. Look up. Breathing deeper into the side body. With your exhalation, letting go of any tension you may be holding along the spine, along the hip. Then extend that top arm and come back to center and let's do the same thing to the other side. So now the other hand comes down, other arm reaches up to the sky. Both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat. Looking up towards the sky to make sure that your shoulders are open. One more deep breath in. Then as you exhale, we're going to bend that top arm, bring the hand behind your head. Elbow is bent. From here on your next inhale, you're going to slowly begin to round the spine. And you're going to touch that elbow to the opposite knee. And then as you exhale, open yourself up. And again, inhale, round it forward, elbow to the knee. Exhale, open yourself up. Noticing where you're feeling the tension here. And again, inhale, come down. Exhale, open. And one more time, inhale, release, round the spine and exhale, open up. Hold it here, breathing a little bit deeper into that side body. And then slowly extending that top arm, breathing in a little bit more to let go of any tension or resistance you may be feeling along the side of the body. And then coming back to center, well done. Inhale, let's reach both arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring your hands over on top of your heart. And just taking this moment to close the eyes and return to the breath. 
Noticing how you're feeling right now in this moment and allowing this awareness to guide you in setting an intention for your practice today, whether that is to release stress, tension, or simply to reconnect with your inner self. Take another deep breath in, and then as you exhale, let it go. Now let's slowly come on over to our hands and knees position on your mat. And then from here, let's begin to make gentle circles with the body to release any tension out of the spine. So first, sit back over to the heels, and then begin to circle the body to the right, and then the left, and then all the way back down to the heels. So drawing a big circle and then reverse the direction. Now you can add whatever movement feels good for you here. You can arch the back a little bit. You can involve the hips a little bit. Just do what feels best for you in this moment. Just keep reversing the circle to the left and then to the right. Dip the hips down, drop those shoulders down. And then once you're back over to that child's pose, let's just sit here for a moment. Reaching both arms forward, your forehead is staying grounded on the mat. This is our opportunity right now to come back to that breath Come back to that intention that you just set for your practice. Come back to your heart, to that energy within you. Inhale, and as you exhale, roll yourself over to your all fours position. At this time, let's go ahead and tuck your toes underneath and slowly press your hips up to the sky. Now let's keep our knees bent to start. Slowly shifting your weight over to the right side, pointing your knees to the left. Just hold for a breath. Exhale back to center. Opening through that heart center through the upper body and then pointing your knees to the right, shifting your weight to the left. Keeping both of your hands flat on the floor. Come back to center, knees are staying bent, and then from here you can slowly extend into that downward facing dog. Now feel free to add movement here. You can walk it out on the spot, bending one knee at a time and pressing the opposite heel closer towards the mat, warming up the hamstrings, your calf muscles, using this opportunity to prepare the body to go deeper in your downward facing dog. Once you walked it out, go ahead and just press both heels down, your elbows are pointed downward towards the mat, so roll those shoulder blades in. Sternum is falling towards the mat. Inhaling into the nose and exhale, go deeper, opening yourself up. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the legs. Inhale again. Now on your exhalation, begin to round through each vertebra of your spine, coming into plank position and then push the hips back, release into downward dog. We're gonna do that a couple times. Imagining like you're creating a wave with the spine into plank and back into downward facing dog. And again, rounding forward, plank position, pull the navel into the spine, press it back, downward facing dog. One more time, coming into plank position, this time lowering into chaturanga and just hold and hover for three, two, one, and then drop the chest and hips all the way down. Hands slightly to the side, press the fingertips as you lift the chest and lower down, making wave-like motion with the upper body. Inhale as you open, exhale, release, good. Make it feel good for your body. Inhale, press into the fingertips, lift up. Exhale, release. One more time, press up. Lift up, exhale, release, hands next to the side body, tuck your toes under, press your way right up into your push-up, into plank position, you can drop your knees if you want to modify, and then exhale, press your way back, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, slowly begin to walk your feet one at a time, slow as possible, taking baby steps, walking your way to the very top of your mat. So take as many steps as you wish. Once you make it over to the front of your mat, go ahead and release yourself into your standing forward fold. Gently walking out your legs, bending one knee at a time. 
Always checking that you're not folding from your lower back, that the folding is happening from the hip crease. Relax your head, relax your upper body. Inhaling deeply into the lungs and then as you exhale, roll up slowly and gently. Finding that center, take a moment to roll those shoulders back away from the ears. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, look over to your left as you bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend both elbows, look to the right. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, bend both elbows, slightly arching the back, look up. And inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend those elbows, dive it back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, take two steps back into plank position. Inhale, and then as you exhale, lower yourself, hover for three, two, one. Drop the hips and the belly. Let's do our cobra rolls again. Lift up. Exhale, lower. Good. Press into the fingertips. Wave your body up. Exhale, let it go. Now take your hands next to the side body. Press your way back up into plank position and push yourself back downward facing dog good take a deep breath in into the body exhale let it go inhale slowly from here bend your knees hop to the front of your mat halfway up exhale forward fold slowly from here let's roll up to standing Roll the shoulders back as you inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Closing your eyes, taking this opportunity right now to reconnect with how you're feeling. Coming back to your intention that you set in the beginning of a practice. Feeling grounded, centered, connected. Beautiful, let's take our next breath, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend both elbows, look over your left shoulder as you twist from the belly button. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, bend both elbows, look to the right. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, bend both elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you open up through the back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back into plank position. And then take that chaturanga, hover, three, two, one. Drop your hips and belly to the floor. Fingertips grounded, now you're gonna lift. And then from here, you're gonna kick your heel to the butt, two, and lower. And again, lift into baby cobra, kick the other heel to your glute, and then the other leg. And lower, great job, hands next to the side of the body, tuck your toes, press up into plank position, and then push up into your downward facing dog. Great job, take a deep breath in. Exhale, this time let's reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Shoulders are staying square, bending the top knee. Hold it here for a breath. Then on your exhale, shifting your weight forward into plank position, bringing that top knee to the chest. Inhale and exhale. Let's bring it in as you transfer your weight. Great, and then push back into your three-legged dog. Same thing, this time your right knee touches your left elbow. And push back. And one more time, this time touch your right elbow, so bring the knee to the side. Extend a back three-legged dog. Exhale, step between your two hands with your right foot. Find your grounding in your center, drop that back knee to the floor. Arms up to the sky, low lunge. Inhale, now begin to bend those elbows. Open those elbows to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then start to slowly just to turn. And if your right leg is in front, you're gonna turn over to your left. Come back to center, extend those elbows, and then you're gonna twist to your right, bend those elbows, back to center, bend those elbows, open up the chest, just like we did in our standing position, extending both arms, and then as you exhale now, you're gonna come forward, 
Drop your arms and your hands next to the side body. Extend the front knee, flex your front foot, have split posture. Hold it here, make sure your hips are square. You're pulling that right hip back, pushing the left hip forward, you're breathing. With each exhalation, you're allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper each time. Inhale, exhale. Great, just staying here. And now slowly just take your hands closer towards your hips, tuck your back toes, press into the hands and then lift your back knee and straighten the back knee. You're continuing to keep your hips square. Now if you'd like to go even deeper, what you're gonna do here now is actually turn so your fingertips are pointing towards the back of the mat and you're pressing onto the fingertips themselves. Hold it here so your elbows are extended, both knees are extended, you're allowing yourself to go even deeper into this variation of a pyramid posture. Good, just breathing into the nose. And then as you exhale, shift your weight forward and swing those arms up into the sky, into that high lunge. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, extending the front knee, as you exhale, bending both elbows, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder as you squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend both elbows, look up to the sky. Inhale, hold that crescent lunge, reach both arms up to the sky. And then from here, palms together. Take your left elbow to your right knee as your right elbow points up to the sky. So coming into our twisted high lunge, keeping your gaze down towards the mat. You can either stay here or take it up to that next level by extending both elbows. So one hand comes down to the mat, other arm reaches up to the sky. Now see if you can bring your gaze up to the sky as well to challenge your balance a little bit more. Twisting here, keeping your hips square, deep breath in. Exhale, now we're going to transition into our crescent lunge again, this time leading with that back arm. Reach the back arm towards the back of your thigh as your left arm reaches up to the sky. Hold it here, really feeling that deep stretch through the psoas muscle, through your left hip flexor, inhale. And exhale, now transitioning into our warrior two by first cartwheeling that left arm behind, right arm reaches forward, arms out to the side and go deep into that warrior two. Shoulders down, your front knees on top of your ankle. Open up the palms of your hands. Now on your next inhale, releasing into that peaceful warrior, reaching with that front arm up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, transitioning into our extended side angle, so that right hand towards the floor as your left arm reaches towards the front of your mat. So let's move with the breath here. Inhale again, coming up into your peaceful warrior. Fill those lungs with oxygen. Exhale, let it go as you release into your extended side angle. Breathing deep into the side body here. And then slowly come back, warrior two. From here, arms reaching up to the sky as you extend the front knee, palms together, coming into our skandasana here. So what you're gonna do is bend that back knee, your front foot toes are pointing up to the sky. Hands in prayer, you can just stay here and balance. Or if this is too difficult for you today, you can always keep your hands on the floor and just go down with your hips as much as you can. So wherever you are, whatever level you wish to take, just breathe deeply into the hips here. Good, inhale again. Now exhale, let's press our way back up, releasing the arms back into warrior two. Hold for breath. Exhale, cartwheel the arms forward and then shift your weight to that front foot as your back knee comes close towards your chest. Extending that back knee into our supported warrior three position. So what we're doing here is just keeping the hands grounded, but our hips and our legs are in warrior three. Stay here and breathe. As you're keeping your hips square, you're feeling that deep release and stretch through that right hamstring. Let's bend that back knee, pull it into the chest, 
and then that left foot is going to cross over top of your right and then from here releasing into our standing forward fold so you want to think of forehead reaching for that front knee inhale simply just lift up a little bit and then exhale release a couple of times again movement with the breath here inhale extend the elbows look forward exhale release forehead to that left knee good just hold and enjoy we're going to take our next transition here into our pigeons so what you're going to do first is shift all of your weight to the toes and then kick your right leg back once you make your right foot to the back of your mat you're going to drop that left knee let's open the chest and the heart up to the sky press into the fingertips as you exhale bend those elbows chest and forehead down let's move and enjoy inhale open exhale release so again we're making that wave like motion with the upper body inhale open throw your head back exhale release one more time press into the fingertips inhale open and exhale come on down into our full pigeon pose now you can rest your forehead on the mat or you can bring the arms in front of you stacking one palm of your hand over the other whatever feels good for you here just stay and breathe deeply into that left glute muscle shoulders and your hips are staying square finding the stillness finding your breath inhale now let's press into the fingertips open up that chest hands down tuck your back toes and lift yourself back into plank and let's just take a flow chaturanga inhale let's open up into upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog well done just take a moment to find that breath again reconnect to your breath to your body to your intention once you're ready left leg is going to reach up to the sky three-legged dog bending that left knee and then from here we are transitioning into our plank position your left knee is going to touch your chest first inhale exhale let's transition left knee towards the chest inhale press back three-legged dog exhale left knee right elbow inhale up into three-legged dog exhale bend the knee touch your left elbow inhale reach up into your three-legged dog exhale step your left foot to the front of your mat between your two hands drop your back knee and reach both arms up to the sky let's take our low lunge find that center inhale bending the elbows now as you exhale we're going to open up those shoulders and look towards the left inhale extend both arms up to the sky exhale bend both elbows look towards the right inhale up to the sky exhale bend both elbows open the heart up squeeze the shoulder blades together inhale reach both arms up to the sky exhale dive the arms slowly down towards the mat as you press back onto your knee extending the front knee flexing the front foot and let's release into that half split posture Ardha Hanuman just hold it here shoulders hips are square you're breathing with each exhalation going deeper with your body over top of that leg inhale exhale feel that tension releasing out of your hamstring out of your calf muscle out of your back now let's slowly lift ourselves back up and then from here we're going to tuck our back toes and then lift your back knee as you come into that deeper variation of our pyramid walking your hands closer towards the midline and your fingertips are now turned so they're facing towards the back of your mat as you're in this posture see if you can keep your elbows straight and again you're just following the movement of your breath and with each exhalation allowing that movement of the exhalation itself 
to guide you deeper into your posture, giving your body the opportunity to let go and relax, feeling the wonderful benefits. Inhale. Now exhale, bending that front knee and then reaching both arms up to the sky, crescent lunge. Find your center first. Take a deep breath in, extend the front knee. Exhale, bend both elbows, look to your left. Inhale, extending your knee and elbows. Exhale, bend the elbows, look to the right. Inhale, extend at center. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up to the sky. Holding this crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, extend both arms. Releasing now hands towards your heart. And now take your right elbow and place it over towards that left knee. Readjust yourself if you need to. Make sure that left elbow points up to the sky. You can look down and just hold this twisted high lunge. Or if you wish to go deeper, you can take it up to the next level by extending both of your arms. So one hand down, other arm reaches up to the sky. The other hand that's down, make sure the palm of your hand can stay grounded on the mat. Keeping your gaze down or looking up to the sky, whatever feels best for you. Inhale. Exhale, just stay here. Now let's take one more inhale. On your exhale, slowly bring yourself up into your high lunge. This time, your bottom hand reaches up to the sky. Your top arm reaches towards the back of your leg. Hold. Feel that release through the psoas now along the right side, your hip flexor. Breathing deeply here. And then when you're ready, on your exhalation, you're going to take that top arm and you're going to allow it to release back as you open up that back heel, transitioning into our warrior two, sinking down a little bit lower, really feeling this engagement through the lower body. Opening the palms, inhale, let's take it back, peaceful warrior. On your exhalation, you're transitioning into our extended side angle, hand down to the floor, back arm reaches towards the front of your mat. Good. Feel that deep release through the side body. One more time. Inhale. Release. Peaceful warrior. Exhale. All the way down. Extended side angle. Reach. Look up to the sky. Breathing deeply into any areas along the side body that you feel there's some resistance in. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, we're going to transition back into warrior two. And then arms reach up to the sky, palms together as you extend the front knee, flex the front foot, bend the back knee into our side lunge or skandasana. Your front foot is flexed, your toes are pointed up to the sky. And again, you can either just stay here or you can keep your hands on the floor and your hips a little bit higher. It depends where your body feels the restriction and where you wish to go today. So even if you come down halfway, that's completely fine. Inhale. When you're ready to come out on your exhale, pressing into that right foot, slowly from here, transitioning back into that warrior two. And then you're going to cartwheel the arms to the front of your mat, shift your weight forward, and bring that back knee, your right knee, towards your chest. Extending that right leg all the way back into our supported warrior three. So we're gonna keep the hands grounded on the floor, keeping our balance, but really focusing on making sure the hips are square and seeing how far you can take that supported knee to come into an extended position. A slight bend is completely fine. Just see how it feels for you. Bend that back knee now, and then bring the knee back to the chest, and then cross the right foot over your left, hands closer towards the body, and allow your forehead to release down towards that knee. Just stay here and breathe, feeling a deeper release through that left hamstring. Inhale, now let's just lift a little bit up. 
exhale, release little gentle wave-like motions with the body. Inhale up. Exhale, forehead to knee. Beautiful. Now, we're going to transition into our pigeon. Shift your weight to the ball of your foot as you kick your left leg back. And then once you got that form, you're slowly lowering that right knee to the floor. Squaring off your shoulders and your hips. Take a second to really make sure you got the right posture, the right position. Open up the chest and then exhale, release forehead to the floor. Inhale, let's open the chest, look up to the sky. Exhale, let it go. Creating a beautiful flowing motion with the upper body. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, press into the fingertips. Open the heart. And then exhale, let it go. Let's hold our pigeon pose here. Keeping the arms next to the side body if you wish. Your forehead is down. Breathing deeply into that right glute muscle now. Finding your stillness. Finding your breath. Finding that presence and awareness within yourself. Beautiful. Now let's slowly come on up. Tuck your back toes. And then all you're going to do is step right into that plank or one-legged plank if you like. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog as you lift your thighs off the floor and exhale. Press back downward facing dog. Good job. Now let's inhale, lift your heels off the floor. Exhale, bend your knees. I want you to hop and then cross your ankles and see if you can land onto the mat. Once you make your way down, extending into our boat or extended boat. So see if you can extend into a full V if that's possible for you today. If not, keep your knees bent. From here, hands go behind your back, be grounded to the floor, lift up into a bridge, throw your head back, and then from here, you're going to shift your way back, extend your legs, flex your feet. Shift forward, open up into bridge. When you shift back, so you can keep your hips above the mat. Two more. Lift and squeeze, open up the chest, exhale, extend the legs, flex your feet. One more time, lift up. Exhale, press it back, hover yourself above the ground. And then bend your knees and release. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. Reaching the arms forward. One hand to your heart. Other hand to your belly. And slowly make your way down for three, two, and one. Ending in our Supta Baddha Konasana. Reclined butterfly pose. Breathing into the belly, ribs, chest. And then exhaling chest, ribs, and belly releasing the hands next to the side of your body you may stay in this posture or extend the legs into our final shavasana as we're staying in our shavasana let's continue with that same three-part breath inhaling into the belly into the ribs into the chest exhaling chest ribs and belly Continuing at your own pace as you give your body permission to completely let go. This is a moment for you to welcome deep relaxation into your entire body. Every muscle, every joint, every bone. Let it go. Inhale. And exhale. You're more than welcome to remain in Shavasana for as long as you like. However, if you wish to come out with me, then go ahead and bring some movement into your body. Bend your knees. Reach the arms over your head. And then slowly bring your knees into the chest and give yourself a big hug. Deep breath in. And then once you're ready, roll over to your side. And then slowly Come on up to your seated position along the center of your mat. Crossing your feet in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall. 
Hands are rested on your knees with the palms open up to the sky. Let's close the eyes for a moment and reconnect with that intention that we set in the beginning of our practice. Reconnect with that feeling, noticing the difference in how we felt in the beginning to how we feel right now. Inhale and exhale. Let's take the hands together and bring them over to your heart. And take this opportunity right now to thank yourself for taking this time out of your day and doing something good for your body, for your mind, and for your soul. Thank you so much for joining me today on the mat. I send you love and light, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste.